For many young girls, prom is that special day you've been waiting for all high school, but it can become stressful when you can't afford a dress. Well, that's where the Cinderella Project steps in. News 19's Julia Kaufman tells us about their mission. The Cinderella Project's first donation drive of the year in Columbia was a success Saturday, filling carriages one by one with dresses. So my car is jam-packed both in the trunk and in the back seat of just beautiful dresses. They collected gently used and new formal dresses, shoes and accessories. We get them in all sizes, so they range for from zero to, you know, we've, uh, we've got dresses all the way up into size 20. Renee Ballou helps run the project for the South Carolina Young Lawyers Division. Prom is a very big day and we want that to be special for everyone. The gowns will go to the community for free during a special boutique shopping day. The program helps around 250 girls in the Columbia area a year. This helps any young woman and a young lady that's looking for that dress that has been looking and trying to find that dress and hasn't been having that opportunity. Tiffany Scott said Alpha Kappa Alpha has partnered with the Cinderella Project for over 20 years. It is amazing to see the young ladies' faces because they come in with the thought like, you know what, I've been looking for a dress and I've had not been having any luck. And to watch them walk in and find that perfect dress, it really warms my heart. And the program helps beyond prom. They've helped mothers needing formal wear for an event too when they came with their daughters. The only requirement is to bring a student ID. The boutique shopping day is March 19th at Brooklyn Baptist Church. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Well, News 19 is partnering with the Cinderella Project to be a permanent donation site this year. You can drop off donations of gently used or new formal dresses until March 17th during our normal business hours. You must wear a mask during drop off. Plus, the project will have two more donation drives in March as well. We have all that information on our website, WLTX.com.